I'm working on my uh, 98 Honda Passport. Same thing as an Isuzu Rodeo. But the problem I was having is the key was getting stuck in the ignition. I would go to, you know, go to the store or whatever, and I couldn't get the key out. So let me just recreate this issue, what was happening. See, with this, this is the, the locking mechanism that locks the column. You can't get the key out unless this locking mechanism is all the way in the back position. And this is an automatic transmission. And this thing right here, this locking mechanism, it was connected to a cable. See the cable right there that's on the end of that white locking mechanism. And the cable runs to the gear shift. And this is what operates the cable. So the this would pull the cable and release, pull, release. So what I did was I just cut the, cut the cable off and I'm going to put a hose clamp to keep this thing in the rearward position. I'm just gonna put a hose clamp around it right here. So let me get that clamp on and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, I got the hose clamp on. You can see it right here. And that's just essentially locking that plastic piece where you can take the key out always. And it just bypasses the cable system. So this thing, the key, I'll show you. And then you can put it in gear, whatever gear you want and you can kill the vehicle and remove your key so it doesn't have to be up in the park position. So that's pretty nice. That's how it should be from the factory. It shouldn't even have any of this on there and I wouldn't be working on this right now. All right, so in order to do this job to remove, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't even gonna explain how to do this, but this panel here just has a couple screws in it. And if you can't figure it out, the only screws it has are the hood release. You take two Phillips head screws out and then it has one right here, screw hole here that mounted down here. So a total of three screws and then that thing just pops completely off. And then here's the bottom of the column. You can see each hole, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Phillips screws and then the column pops off and that's how you access the job to do the job.